What's up guys, welcome back to another LumaFusion tutorial. In this video, we're gonna make the character introduction. This is super simple to use, but you will have to use Affinity Photo or a program that you can do a masking. But I recommend using Affinity Photo. I'm not sponsored by Affinity Photo by no means, uh, but this app is just insane. It's so good and I just recommend using this app over anything else. But the downside of this app is that it's only available for iPads. You cannot use it for your iPhone. So you have to find any other program that you can use to do this masking effect if you're going to do it on your iPhone. And for those of you that use this Premiere Pro, I now made a value pack available on Selfie as well. It comes with 120 transitions that you can use. Just drag and drop. It's super easy. So head over to Selfie if you want to check out any of those transitions. And we also decided to go to Miami this summer it's gonna be super awesome so if you know any hidden gems or any perfect like filming spots or something like that let me know in the comments section below it's really appreciated and it saves me a lot of research and time but enough talk let's jump into LumaFusion and Affinity Photo to create this awesome character introduction roll that intro <laughs> So the first thing we need to do to make this effect is to find a video clip that we want to apply the character introduction to. So I'm going to use this clip of my wife and we're going to trim it down. And once we trimmed it down, we're going to drag it over to our timeline. And then we're going to find a position where we want the introduction to start and then make a cut and take a snapshot. And once we take in the snapshot, you can see that we have it inside of the photos app inside of the iPad. And what we need to do now is to go over to affinity photo and apply this photo. So once we apply this photo, the next thing we want to do is to mask out the subject. So we're going to tap on this button and this button right here to get to the masking tool and then we're going to start masking so what you want to do is to do the masking properly so we get the best result but i'm just going to speed through this until the masking is done So once the masking is done, you want to go over to this button and you want to save this as a new layer with mask. So we're going to change the output to new layer with mask and we have a transparent background. The next thing we can do is to go over to the layer FX and we can add some outline. In here, you just have to play around with the settings until you're happy with the settings that you want to use for your character introduction. And once you're happy with the outline of your subject, the next thing we need to do is to export this photo. So we're gonna go to export and share and then save the image. And make sure to save the image as a PNG file. If you're not saving it as a PNG file, it will not become transparent. And once you're saved the image, you can go back into LumaFusion and you can see now that we placed the original photo on timeline layer one. And we're gonna place the newly created PNG file with the mask on top of that photo. And the next thing we do is to go into edit on the top layer, which has the transparent PNG. And we're gonna go into frame and fit and we're gonna add some keyframes. So what we wanna do is to add a keyframe at the beginning where we add no settings and we're gonna go to the end and add another keyframe. And on this keyframe, we're gonna scale it up so we get that zoom animation. And once you added that zoom animation to your photo, you can go back to your timeline and you can play through and you can see if you're happy with the result. 
And if you're happy with the look of the animation, the next thing we can do is to double tap on the clip on the bottom, which is the original photo. And we can go into color and effects, and then we can add a Gaussian blur. So what you want to do is to add a Gaussian blur, which takes out the background completely. So we get rid of the subject, which is in that photo. So I reckon a Gaussian blur with around 20 to 40 would give the best result. And now we're going to move over to Affinity Photo once more, and we're going to create a new document. And once we've made a new document, we go over to the paint brushes and we find the side brush that we want to use. And then we change the color of the brush to a color that we want to use. And we simply add some strokes to the layer. And once you added some strokes to the layer, we want to export this. But what we want to do is to go into the export and change the area to a selection without background. And the reason why we change this is that we want to keep it transparent. So we only want to see the brush strokes and we don't want to see the white background. So this is the settings that you need to apply if you want to see the brush strokes and not the white background. So once we save this to our photos app, we can go back to LumaFusion and import this photo. And as you can see, we can only see the brush strokes and we don't see any of the white background at all. So the next thing we want to do is to go in to edit on this picture as well. And we want to create an animation. We're going to do the exact same thing. So we're going to go to the beginning and we're going to make a keyframe and we're going to adjust the strokes. So it's in a proper position. And then we're going to go to the end and we're going to add another keyframe and we're going to change the position of it and we're going to add some zoom so we get that animation. And once you're happy with all the animation that you just created, you can go out to your timeline and you can play through and see what the final result looks like. And the next thing we can do is to render this out so we can apply some text to it as well. As you know, LumaFusion only allows three layers on top of each other. So here we already have three layers. So we need to render this out to add some text. So once the render is complete, we can simply add this to our timeline and we can find the position where the character introduction starts. And then we can go over to source and titles and then we can add a new text layer. And once we added that text layer, we simply drag it until the end where the character introduction ends. And then we go into edit and we can apply some text. So once we get into edit on the text, we can resize the text and we can type whatever text that we want to use. I'm just going to type Aloha Police and you can simply place this text inside of the brush strokes. And then you have to go over to frame and fit and you have to make some animation to the text as well. So once you've done that, you can go over to your timeline again and you can play through and you can see what the final result looks like with text applied. So that's how you make a proper character introduction in LumaFusion with the help of Affinity Photo. And as I said, LumaFusion only allows you to have three layers. So to make this short and to like speed up the process, it's really important that you use the outline inside of Affinity Photo. If you want to make this process longer, but get a better result, then you have to render it a couple of times to get that same mask that you made, but you make it white and then you apply it on the background of your first master and so on but this process is fairly long so I didn't want to go that way in this video maybe I'll make another video on that later on but for now this is by far the best and the fastest way to make a proper character introduction inside of LumaFusion so I hope you like this video guys don't forget to subscribe if you're new to my channel and don't forget to give this video a big thumbs up if you liked it also smash that notification bell to get notified when I upload new videos and I'll see you guys in the next video Peace.